Ninjas, highly trained martial arts practitioners known for their skills in espionage, infiltrations, and assassination. Here we look at some of the most lethal weapons used by feudal Japan's deadly assassins. Number 11. Kusari Gama As if a sharp sickle and a heavy iron weight were both not dangerous enough as separate weapons, the Japanese decided to combine those two with the metal chain, giving birth to the Kusari Gama. The deadly chain sickle weapon was developed during the Muromachi era and has its own unique art of handling, known as Kusari Gama Jutsu. Ninjas would later come to adopt the weapon as part of their deadly arsenal. The hybrid weapon complements a specific type of fighting, usually for use against an opponent bearing a long weapon such as a sword or spear. A Kusari Gama user would swing the weighted chain in a circle above his head and then quickly whip it forward to entangle his opponent's weapon, rendering it unusable. It could also be used to immobilize the enemy by entangling one of his limbs. The Kusari Gama user would then lunge forward and strike down his incapacitated opponent with the sickle end. Apart from using the sickle, the weighted chain could also be used to directly strike an opponent from a distance while still outside their attack range. With enough force, the iron weight could easily fracture bone. Number 10. The Kakute Ring Kakute are small metal rings with spikes protruding from it, worn as a finger ring. These weapons are very much favored by the kunoichi, or female ninjas. The reason is that kakute rings are simple to use and are concealable as they look like any other normal ring, but with spikes hidden inside the hand. The weapon is obviously only used up close, but still is very capable of delivering considerable damage, especially towards non-suspecting enemies, apart from cutting someone's throat. The spikes could be used to hold on to an opponent or choke them, and sometimes for climbing as well. An expert and careful user would go as far as to have the Kakute spikes coated in poison, so even a slight scratch could kill their target. This weapon is one reason why you would want to avoid shaking hands with a ninja. Number 9. Teko Kagi Imagine brass knuckles, but with forward-facing iron nails like bear claws. That's the Teko Kagi, a ninja weapon that has a close resemblance to the X-Men Wolverine's protruding adamantium claws. The origin of the weapon was a rather peaceful one, as a tool for farmers to reap weeds. But in the hands of a skilled ninja, the Teko Kagi becomes a lethal weapon. The tool is multifunctional and could be used to directly slash an opponent to catch and take over their weapon and also as a shield for self-defense. Usually, it is used during missions where carrying large weapons just wasn't possible. Ninjas would often wear two Tekokagis on both hands while in combat, making them appear no less frightening and dangerous than wild bears and tigers. Number 8. Neko Te If you think the Tekokagi was scary enough, then you should take a look at the Neko Te. It is also a claw-like weapon, but worn like a glove, and with the blades protruding directly from the ends of the fingers, much like a cat's claws. And that's exactly what Neko Te means in Japanese, cat claws. There is nothing subtle about the appearance of this weapon, and it looks exactly like Freddy Krueger's bladed glove. The Neko Te was favored by the Kunoichi, with the eyes and throat as favored slashing targets for these female ninjas. Like other bladed ninja weapons, the Neko Te nails are sometimes imbued with poison to make sure the target is successfully killed. Number 7. Mitsubushi Metsubushis are the pepper sprays of the ninja world. The name translates to crush the eyes and is one thing a ninja's opponent should avoid at all costs when in a fight. The weapon could come in many forms, but are typically delivered from a small pipe that can be blown at an enemy or from an eggshell that can be thrown. This results in the delivery of a special concoction of ashes, ground up pepper, mud, flour, and dirt into an opponent's eyes. For extra damage, metal scrapings or broken shards of glass are sometimes also added Added. While not lethal in itself, a victim would end up completely vulnerable to a follow-up deadly blow, as they would be blinded and disoriented from the pain. Metsubushi is also a perfect tool for ninjas to escape unwanted situations, as their blinded pursuers would most definitely give up. Number 6. Ninjato 
Many people know of the katana, the traditional Japanese sword used by samurais during ancient and feudal times. But ninjas also have their own version of the katana, known as ninjato. Compared to the swords carried by the samurai, ninjato were smaller in size and more compact in form. The overall length is usually less than 60 centimeters and is relatively thick and straight with no curves. The swords were either forged by ninjas on their own from slabs of steel or were regular long katanas that were cut and sharpened so they would end up in the right form and shape. This results in a sword that is easier to carry and conceal, while still capable of delivering swift and deadly attacks. The swords could also be used somewhat like a ladder, where ninjas would stab them into cliffs or walls, step on them, and retrieve them with a strap attached to the hilt. The maneuver would be difficult if a curved sword like a regular katana was used. Number 5. Kukia the Fukia is a type of blowgun used in Japan. The practice still exists today in modern Japan as a national sport similar to archery. However, Fukia was known in the past as a ninja's weapon, with numerous ninjutsu schools specializing in its use. Ninjas would often fire two-inch long poison darts or Fukibari from a concealed location. The dart itself is usually not enough to kill a target, but the poison would finish the job. The weapon is extremely effective for stealth kills at a long distance, as well as a form of distraction. Although it has a much shorter range than a typical bow and arrow, it has its own advantages. The 50 centimeter long Fukia is easily concealable and is often disguised as an innocent flute, enabling disguised ninjas to sneak the weapon past guards. Apart from its use as a weapon, the Fukia could also serve as a breathing pipe for hidden ninjas submerged underwater. Modern Fukia sport players are proof of how deadly the weapon could be in the past, as experts could deliver very accurate shots at long distances. We could easily say that the Fukia were the sniper rifles and silencers of feudal Japan. Number 4. Sai Sai the weapon familiar to those in the West as the weapon of choice for Raphael from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the female assassin Elektra from Marvel. Traditionally used on the islands of Okinawa, the Sai is useful as both an offensive and defensive weapon. The weapon has a very distinctive look, as a long pointed metal baton with two curved prongs projecting from the sides. Sai users practice a variety of fighting styles, which involve strikes, blocks, parries, and capturing an opponent's weapon between the weapon's shaft and curved side prongs. Rather than slashes, the Sai is more effective in delivering short jabs into vital areas. The weapons are much lighter than swords, relatively easy to handle, and are typically carried in pairs, one for each hand. Due to its light weight, it could also be thrown towards an enemy when needed. Number 3. Kunai the kunai is a dagger-like weapon which serves as one of ninja's most basic but multifunctional weapons. Historically, it is believed to have been derived from hand trowels, as farmers and masons of feudal Japan used to make weapons out of any spare tools they could get their hands on. Kunais are crafted from metal into sharp blades with balance and weight in mind, as they are used both in close combat and thrown from a distance. Apart from combat, they are used for digging and gouging holes in the wall for spying. They could also be used as tools for climbing, as a grappling hook, or as a piton. Both a tool and weapon, the versatility of these easily concealable weapons make them really useful. One of the most distinctive characteristics of a kunai is the ring at the end of its handle. This serves to increase the blade's function. A rope could be attached to make it into a makeshift swinging weapon, or it could be strapped to a long stick as a spear. To add to its deadliness, poison could also be coated on its tip for extra effect. Number 2. Poison We've talked about how poison could be used to complement some weapons, often coated on tips of blades. But its deadliness and wide variety makes it deserve a special mention on this list. As stealthy assassins, ninjas could not avoid using poison, as it enables them to kill their targets without confronting them directly. Poisons could be placed directly into the food and drinks of victims, or put in their mouths while they slept at night. And in case of direct combat, even a light graze on an opponent's skin would be enough to eventually kill them 
them if the weapon is coated with poison. All of this proves how extremely convenient poison is, as even the strongest of opponents could be killed with ease. Poisons come from many sources in an exotic country like Japan, giving ninjas a wide variety of the substance at their disposal. They had a deep knowledge of vegetation and lived deep in the mountains where various types of plants grew. Apart from plants, their poison also came from mushrooms, toads, and puffer fish. Number 1. Shuriken you definitely can't talk about ninjas without mentioning shurikens. Shuriken literally translates to sword hidden in user's hand and are sometimes referred to as throwing stars in the west. They are crafted into many different shapes and sizes, usually with the hole at the center. Shurikens might be small, but are essential tools in a ninja's arsenal. They often serve a secondary role as a nuisance or distraction when facing an enemy. A skilled user would target exposed areas of an opponent's body at high speeds and incredible accuracy. When a person is hit by a shuriken in the dark, they might confuse it to be a slash from a swordsman nearby. Similar to a cow trap, shurikens can be embedded in the ground, injuring the feet of those who step on the spikes. There are many other ways of using it, such as in combination with other weapons. It could be wrapped with a small explosive or coated with poison. They could also serve as a close combat weapon when needed. In skillful hands, shurikens could be extremely deadly, as they could be targeted onto vital areas. There are even reports of these metal stars being buried in feces and soil to harbor bacteria so that its victims could end up with a tetanus infection. Tattooing was eventually outlawed in the Meiji period as the Japanese government was trying to protect its image and maintain a good impression on the West. However, the practice continued underground and although legalized after World War II, has continued to retain its image of criminality, particularly practiced by members of underground organizations like the Yakuza. 